I am very concerned about these retaliatory strikes that the United States has undertaken. 85 that we have already made, and that's in Iraq and Syria. And this is theoretically because of the drone attack that killed three American soldiers at that base at the border of, of Jordan and Syria the other day. But let's be very, actually it was Jordan and Iraq the other day. But be very clear, this is terrible. These are Iran-backed militias. The first question every American should be asking ourselves anyway is, why do we have all these bases? Remember, we have 800 bases in around 80 countries around the world. Many of them serve no purpose other than making our soldiers sitting ducks. You know, we say, well, it's a deterrent to ISIS, but actually what it is, is makes our soldiers a, a, um, a, an object of attack. Now, this idea that, okay, we're going to have 85 strikes. And by the way, Lloyd Austin has said, oh, we're just beginning. This is not going to make our soldiers in these areas safer. This is going to make them a target on a level that they have not been. Uh, this is so dangerous. I don't, I don't think the average American realizes how dangerous it is when you go provoking Iran. If we were to, God forbid, go to war with Iran, this would make make Iraq look like a walk in the park. It would make Afghanistan look like a rock, uh, walk in the park. And my concern is that war and this forever war machine, it's all become so normalized that there are people who I don't even think, you know, just going about their day to day thinking, oh, we're striking 85 airstrikes in the Middle East at the very time that the president has acknowledged. This is not a time to be widening a Middle East war. We've already got what's going on in Gaza. And because of that, the Houthi started bombing the ships in the Red Sea. And because of that, now we are bombing Yemen. What, what, what is happening here? What is happening here? You know, Joe Biden is far more militaristic than I think most of us expected him to be, number one. And number two, you can't bomb your way out of everything. So we've got what's going on in Ukraine. We've got what's going on in Gaza. We've got now that we're bombing Yemen, uh, now we're bombing these airstrikes in Iraq and Syria. Does this like disturb you a little bit? I hope that it does. And I hope you're in South Carolina, it will make you vote for me. I hope if, it, if you're in Nevada, I hope it will make you vote for me on Tuesday because we have got to have that message out there. We must not acquiesce to the war machine. We must not acquiesce to an agenda for the world that is so dangerous, so dangerous. I cannot, I cannot emphasize enough how important it is that we not go into spiral into madness with Iran. This is the moment, whatever you're doing, write to your senators, write to your congresspeople, write to the president and support Marianne2024.com. Do it now. Thanks.